A common misconception about collecting rainwater is that all you need is a tank, gutters and a few dam pipes and some rain. However, this alone cannot always be relied upon to deliver the volume and the quality of water that you need. So we've got the 12 steps which help to ensure that the rainwater you collect is fantastic. This approach has been built from over 25 years of knowledge and experience. Uh, it's been cultivated from a devotion to the craft of rain harvesting and rigorously testing the processes in the harshest environments. Each step addresses a specific need, a principle and a piece of equipment in the system so that you can get the most out of it. The first step is to understand your rainwater needs. So we're going to be looking at how much water do you need and what are you going to be using it for. Then it's about storing your rainwater. So this is about choosing the appropriate storage vessel for your needs. Then we've got to assess your collection area. So we're going to audit your roof, your gutters, your surrounding environment to prepare your property for great rainwater collection. Step four is about filtering out leaves and debris. We're going to be limiting the risk of rainwater contamination and obstructed water flow to your tank by introducing rain heads, screens and filters. Then it's about diverting the first flush. So we're going to channel, capture and isolate the most contaminated rainwater away from your roof and divert it away from your tank. Then we're going to be looking at storing your rainwater. By securing the entry and exit points of your system, you can preserve the rainwater quality you've got by keeping out animals, insects, sunlight. And then step seven is about deciding on a pump or gravity system. So it's about the best way to draw water from your tank for your needs. Then we're looking at managing any standing water. So by looking at the water sitting in your tank and pipe works so that we've ensured that we've got great quality water. Then we're going to filter it before use. So we're going to be reducing sediment, colour and odour. Step 10 is about optimising your overflow. So it's about ensuring that your tank is always performing at its best, even during high rainfall events. Then it's about monitoring your rainwater level so that we always know how much water we've got. And then finally, it's about caring for your system. It's about inspecting the system occasionally to keep it running at its best. Whatever your needs, location and situation, the steps are going to help you set up for success. While every system and set of requirements is a little bit different, understanding the thinking will help you to set up a system to best suit your own needs within these parameters. With a bit of forward planning, you can ensure that you're going to continuously get a really high volume of great quality rainwater.